Kayla here with um, my layer for UK scrap addicts. Uh, this month we are focusing on fussy cutting. Uh, now I made this layout right at the beginning of April and it's just because um, my Mind the Scrap kit had arrived and there was this gorgeous Vicky Boot and Paper. One side had um, this floral pattern on and one side had these gorgeous butterflies that were just perfect for fussy cutting so i thought i'm not going to wait i'm going to make this layout straight away because i knew i wanted to fussy cut those butterflies <clears throat> now what i've d decided to do first is um i've got some old templates that i'd printed off and made myself before i got my silhouette um, and this is how I used to cut out most of my shapes and I drew around those on different pattern papers that we got in our Mind the Scrap kit and um, in, they're in different patterns, different sizes and um, I cut all those out by hand. I've also penciled in some of the hexagons as well and it's because I'm going to do some hand stitching on those. Um, now I'm looking again at this butterfly paper, ready to start fussy cutting those gorgeous butterflies. Um, and what I did with my paper to start with, which I do with most of my Manda Scrap kits, when I get them, I cut my papers down to A4 size, because that's the size that I scrap in. So I usually end up with um, quite a long strip of paper that I can use to start off with before cutting into like a full size sheet. Um, that I may use as a background or a border around um, a layout. So I'm now fussy cutting out these butterflies. I don't make you watch me fussy cut them all out. Even though I don't really cut many, I think I only cut three or four. Um, but uh, I just thought I'd leave this bit in since obviously this month our theme is fussy cutting. And these are actually really easy to cut out. I did leave um, a really thin little border around the butterflies and that's just because there is some quite flimsy little bits so I didn't want to end up tearing those or um, you know accidentally snipping them off. Um, now the reason as well that I love this paper is because the butterflies are all different sizes so um, they make absolute you know perfect embellishments for a layout and these are actually the only embellishments that um, I use on this page um, apart from obviously thickers so I've cut I've, oh yeah I've cut that off now and I've cut um, yeah three of the butterflies in different sizes um, and now I'm going to take everything off the page I think ready to do um, my hand stitching oh no I haven't I've decided that I'm going to <laughs> stick you can tell that I made this layer right at the beginning of April um, yeah, I'm going to stick down the hexagons first, get them all into place. Um, these Vicky Boot and Papers are absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, I've not been a massive fan of the, the Vicky Boot and collections, just because um, they're very bold and um, you know, my style's not very bold, so I do struggle to use them. You know, we've had them um in various mind the scrap kits but i can honestly say i absolutely adore this collection it's absolutely gorgeous um i think last the last collection she did i think the moths there was lots of moths in it and it really put me off i don't know why um i think i, I definitely prefer butterflies than the moths um i find moths they're more of a nuisance aren't they <laughs> you know they get in your house and they start attacking you um, we've had run-ins with moths before, but my cat's coming, you know, come to the rescue and she's dealt with those. Um, so yeah, I think they put me off um, quite a bit in our last collection. Um, so I definitely prefer this one with the, the butterflies, which are, like I said, the, the gorgeous. I just love this paper. <laughs> um, and it just screams fussy cut me. Um, so it just had to be done. Um, and I, I did as well, um, after because this was the very first layout I made when we got this kit and I've cut out quite a lot of the butterflies since since making this one. I'm now using my little pokey tool to um, go around my pencil lines ready to do some stitching. 
I do the, the stitching off camera just because um, when I'm doing my stitching I prefer to go and sit on the sofa. It's far more comfortable than sitting at my desk. Um, it's just that I suffer with sciatica so it's it gets quite uncomfortable sitting at my desk for long periods of time. So yeah, and this is the photo I'm scrapbooking today. Um, I actually, when I first started making the page, I didn't even have a clue which photo I was going to use. I just had this idea for the page. Um, and I pulled out this one, which is quite an old photo. I think it's from 2013. I think my little boy was about two on this photo. And it's a photo of him with his dad. And where we used to live when my little boy was little, uh, we was right next to a train track. And every time we went over the bridge, he had to look over the, you know, through the fence um, and watch to see if any trains were going to come past. And on this actual day, a train came past and he was waving at the train and um, the driver waved back and he, he picked his horn at him. So he was so made up. He literally told everyone about it because he was just so excited that the the train driver picked his horn and, um, you know, was waving at him. So you know, it's a perfect memory to scrap because, you know, for one, we don't live there anymore. <laughs> so we don't see, you know, the trains go past. But, you know, at this time in my little boy's life, at this age, he was obsessed with trains, which he, you know, he's, he's seven now, nearly eight, and he's outgrown that now. Now I'm just adding some thickers that we got in the Mime Scrap Kit. And these are from, I think, a One Canoe 2 collection. I'm, I think, you know, I could be wrong. Um, but that's the layout more or less finished. Um, yeah, so that's that's how simple fussy cutting is and how you know it can really help with embellishing a page when you don't have many embellishments for a certain collection. Thank you everyone for watching and here's some close-ups.